Israel persists in ethnic cleansing, racial discrimination, destruction of homes, aggression against places of worship, extrajudicial killing, arbitrary detention, collective punishments, colonization and apartheid, the expansion of Jewish settlements and murdering innocent civilians. These violations are tantamount to war crimes and crimes against humanity. Flagrant violation of international laws. All this is happening while some Western countries refrain from taking part in... But in terms of Israel's behavior as a country, do you think that they meet your personal standards of how a country ought to behave in terms of human rights? I think that Israel as a country is dedicated to um, being a democracy and is one of our closest friends in that region. Israel is our beacon of democracy in the Mideast. We need a liberal democracy in that region. One true democracy in the Middle East. They're a democracy that we have sworn to protect. A country that occupies another people for more than 40 years, and this allows them the most elementary civic and human rights, cannot be a democracy. Israel uh, is only a democracy for one group. We, given the, the space that Israel now controls, is not even a, ma a majority group anymore. So I think you will find it very hard to use any known definitions of democracy which would be applicable for the Israeli case. And what about whether Israel meets international standards of human rights? I think that uh, Israel is a trusted partner, a trusted friend in the territories there have been challenges with the decisions that currently... Uh, Israel is our most important ally in the Middle East. Israel is our greatest ally in the Middle East. Israel is a very, very important uh, ally of the U.S. To the U.S.-Israel alliance. They are our strong ally. Beacon of democracy in the Middle East. Crucial ally. I continue to look at Israel as one of our strongest allies. Our allies. But just on, just on a personal level, do you feel like it meets the standards of human rights that you'd like to see them meet? I strongly support a two-state solution. And I'd like to see a two-state solution. A two-state solution. 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 We have to have a two-state solution. And that depends on a two-state solution. Two-state solution. Two-state solution. To a two-state solution. That's why I believe that a two-state solution is the best solution for a two-state solution. Two-state solution, which, again, I think... Almost every Israeli uh, believes is the ultimate goal. They need to come to a two-state solution. And get to a two-state solution for Israel. Israel is the one essential country on the planet. I'm sort of within the larger issue, the two-state solution. Do you feel that Israel, are you personally satisfied that Israel meets human rights standards? I think it's a very complicated uh, relationship. Israel and Palestine are complicated. They have intentionally shot children. They've intentionally shot people with disabilities. They've intentionally shot journalists, knowing them to be children, people with disabilities, and journalists. My commitment right now is to affirming Israel's right to exist. I firmly believe that we have to defend the state of Israel. Israel's right to defend itself against enemies which they have virtually uh, surrounding them. Israel is in a really tough neighborhood. I think Israel's in a very difficult situation when they're surrounded by countries who are effectively threatening their existence and don't believe they have a right to exist. Uh, as I've said many times, in the right for Israel uh, not only to exist, but to exist in peace and security. The legitimate security concerns of Israel. Israel's security. What in the world is going on? Israel's security problem on its border is 50 miles to the south. What's an Israeli army doing here in Beirut? The answer is that we are now dealing with an imperial Israel, which is solving its problems in someone else's country. World opinion be damned. Colin Powell's emails were recently leaked. Powell acknowledges Israel's nuclear arsenal. We know Israel has nuclear weapons. Israel's got enough conventional military power to defeat any foe or combination of foes. I believe that there is no existential threat to Israel from anybody in the world, including the Iranians. As, as a country overall, does Israel meet your you know, make human rights standards to your personal satisfaction? Israel has committed very, very serious international crimes. Well, talk in more detail. What specifically are you referring to? Israel's crimes are infinitely worse than those committed by the apartheid regime of South Africa. 189 Palestinians were killed. Israel is definitely not a democracy. Overall, yes. 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 I do. I do think they meet human rights standards, absolutely. Um, 
I'd be hesitant to say that they are in violation of those standards. If a politician would rise with this point of view, that the United States should stop supporting uh, Israel, what would be the effect, do you think? He'd lose the next election. Israel is our beacon of democracy. A two-state solution. Two-state solution. Two-state solution. One true democracy. Beacon of democracy in the Mideast. Israel's right to Israel defend itself. Israel is our itself. greatest ally in the Middle they East. They are our strong Israel ally. is the one essential country on the planet.